Welcome everyone. Let's play some games. Interesting board. Low ore board, I must say. So definitely want to take one ore spot. As I'm second position. I think the 5, 8, 10, solid. 6, 5, 10 also. Looking at the 3, 8, 5. With the sheep board would be really nice. Because the 8, 10 I think will be taken. We could also take the 3, 8, 10. It's possible. But then you have low wheat. With no guarantee to get wheat on the way back. So I don't like it. And I don't like that you don't have good ports there. So... Although the ore is low, I think the 385 is such a nice spot to take with a lot of options. So let's take the 385. And also always point to the coast, especially in a four player game. So I must say the first position has a, has a strong position, best production and the best ore spot with it. So let's see. Yeah, obvious choice. Although the 3 8, 10 could also, also be really good, but I think she liked the 3 to 1 port, or values the 3 to 1 port. Okay, 4 5 11 or the 6 9 12 will be taken. I think if you're a red, you take the 4511 for sure. You want that brick. Oh, but you don't take it. That's actually not that great for me. No, I'm in a bit of a tough spot. The A10 is just too little production, I think. Let's go for the 3911. Hmm, I don't like my position. Maybe the A10 is the best option for me. I have the 3 to 1 port. I will not get the sheep port, most likely. But my wheat is very low. Oh, let's do it. Ori cheap is the strongest strategy. But I think definitely green is in the best position. You could take the 3911 or the 4911. Both are great spots. Maybe the 5910 was better for me to take because you have a lot more flexibility because the 4511 would be open. Okay, interesting choice. You don't start off with the sheep. That's a bit uh, surprising to me. 
but okay. I think in this position we have low production. <clears throat> so let's go for the city. Nice. Five wheat is always nice. I'm looking for more wheat. Maybe I can offer the sheep. Because I know green wants two. Red might want two because she started off with two wheat. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do too. Ah, that's too bad. I would give you sheep. So I know red does have two wheat in hand. Uh, purple does have two wheat in hand. So I definitely take one wheat from red or purple. Okay, 12. So now I will offer my sheep because I think red definitely wants one because nine did not roll yet. Offer sheep. No trades. Okay, then I will wait for the city by trading in my sheep and just waiting. Got nice the ore. So we only need wheat. I can do it three for one, but preferably. By getting a trade. And when I will get that uh, city, I can uh, buy a lot of death cards, but I have to watch out for the robber because the five wheat will be a big target. But so will be the six wheat. I think she's looking for a city. Maybe she wants... Oh no, why do you give it to her? Okay, she needs one order. Okay, that's a nice wheat. I don't think, however, someone wants a sheep. Maybe Red wants a sheep, but her first priority clearly is to get the city first. So do I. For a wheat, I will do it. But I don't think you will give your wheat away. It would make no sense for you. Oh, you do actually. Huh? Why? Ah, okay. Well, I did give up on that port. So I don't matter. I have the city in hand. So I think I will be in good position now. And I roll the 7. And I will definitely steal from red. Because I think... Or, for, or put it on the 6 wheat for sure. Because I think the red and the green player are in a far better position than... The, and purple. So, but from who do I steal? I think, yeah, of course from red. 
I get the wood, okay. It's not that great for me. We built a city. Which is huge. Really game. I hope a 5 will roll now. Because otherwise I will get blocked. Too bad. Oh, you don't steal from me, though. I think Green doesn't like it that he, he gets stolen from. Oh, oh, that's so painful. Yes, we get the 7, that's great. So I still think Red does have wheat. Um, yeah, maybe purple. No, they, they gave it away. So Red has the wheat. Yeah, this is the block to make. Nice. We can offer a wood. I don't think it will go through. Oh, and you don't have a knight, that's for sure, because you won't let your 6 be blocked. Maybe a victory point. Always good to remember that. No 3 or 10. Only one. Oh, an 8 is so good for me. My first priority now is to get some development cards. Because I will be a target. Oh, okay. You take those. We can offer a sheep. We could also build to the 910, will will be huge for us. Because it's difficult for us to build a settlement. So if I can get a sheep, I will definitely take it. If not, I will wait and just buy the development card. Maybe we get road building. Okay, factory point, not bad. Oh, and a huge block. And still no knight. Okay. And I think on this board it will be difficult to... to get a road. So maybe I can sneak in the longest road as well. Okay. Don't know what Red wants to do here. Ah, okay. Oh, and that 8 is wonderful. One advantage of don't having that many numbers is you don't get 7 out that quickly. So that can be an advantage, especially if you are dependent on a couple of numbers, which is the case for me. So what do I do here? I think I will trade 3 sheep in for a wheat, because it's more likely I will get ore. So nothing special here. So that 11 is money. If that 6 gets blocked, I will win the game, I think. 
because without that six it's very difficult to win okay so uh, green does have ore and I also did steal from red a couple of times on the other hand I know she has ore too or maybe not because she bought a development card It's not that great to steal again, but where do I block? I could block the 6 brick here. To get that ore. Yeah, and I will get wheat as well. Maybe that's also very good for me. So let's, let's block the green player now. Oh, and we get the wheat though. I can offer one wheat. Guys, I'd rather keep my wheat. No, that's way too expensive. Okay, then in that case we just buy another development card. Because we need to protect ourselves and get the largest army. That's the only way we can win. We're probably on the 5 wheat, I can imagine. Maybe she won't put it on me because I have two development cards. Why do you put it otherwise? I don't know. I think the five wheat will be blocked here. I don't mind that match. However, the five block is not uh, it's not great at all. Yeah, you're looking for wheat, so I, I will definitely put it on your six wheat again in my turn. So that eleven, it's insane amount. Nice. So I think. Yeah, red does not have the cards I want, so I, I will definitely steal from green player this time again. Ah, wood, that's not that great for me. Okay, so well now I will put it on, uh, on red, I think. I can put it on the 10 ore. Yeah, I was. It's not great for me, but okay. Yeah, we built another. Maybe I can give someone wood. Then I buy another development card. But read one port is really helpful here. Oh, and we get the mono. That's huge. And that eight is rolling. Ooh, nice block. Yeah, that's the six. Okay, you go for longest road with a, a two on the wood. That is interesting. And we get the ores. Okay, nice. Oh, very big roll for purple. He might want it wheat, but eight is rolled, so I don't think so. Don't think this trade will go through. Okay. So in this case, it's a trade-off. Uh, because I have not that many numbers and not that many production, I will hold my cards. I could trade it in three sheep for one 
wheat, but then if the wheat gets stolen from and the five wheat is blocked, I have a huge problem. So I want to be flexible and just hold my cards here. Ooh, not that great for purple. Five wheat gets blocked again. And you will steal from me, I think. Hopefully you, you, you steal my sheep. Oh, huh? But you don't? Ah, you wanted the ore wheat. Because purple handed in. Not ore, not wheat. So there's a high chance for red to get probably uh, a city in a couple of turns. By stealing a, a wheat or an ore. She buys another development card. I'm a bit worried. She might have really good development cards now. Okay, and hope I don't seven it out. That's uh, a big risk of going uh, twice on the same number. But I had no other choice here. But you, you can get seven out really quick if it uh, rolls twice, which is the case in my turn. But we didn't roll it. So now we have the choice about getting one development card or to just build uh, or to build a city on the 810. But that 810 it, it won't do that much for me. I would rather go for a large army here. So in this case it's pretty simple. I just buy another death card. I don't want to trade away my ore and nobody wants a sheep so I'm normally I do trade a lot but now i think just buy a development cards fine we got a knight nice it might be that red put the rubber on the tree or so i won't play my knight but i think it does not uh, be a good decision at all because the five wheat is so important for my game you should block the five wheat okay ah. i think he wanted the ore Nice. Well, of course I will put it on the six wheat. I think that's by far the strongest position to block. Although I could make an argument to put it here, but definitely you want to block the wheat because wheat is always the best. Uh, with ore, of course, the best. Uh, to have so but from who do i steal uh, green just bought the development card so probably doesn't doesn't have any wheat i think you will have brick which could be nice for me um, red will have a lot of wood i think and sheep i will steal from from green yeah we get the wood not that great, but okay. Maybe it was a mistake because red does have a wheat, so I should have stole from here. Ah. Yeah, that I don't like that play. <laughs> Funny that if you block the tree and then the tree rolls. <laughs> You wouldn't expect that many trees also. 
No, I won't give you ore. Be careful when trading ore. Ore is the most valuable resource in the game, I think. Especially on this board. No, 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 no. Don't do that. She clearly wants to build a city. Oh, you did have a city in hand. Okay. Yeah, we'll be put back on the five wheat, I think. Or on the six wheat. Ah, nice. Yeah, because I'm on three points, not on four. Okay, that's interesting. You're not happy with me, I think. If I can get a wheat, I will do it. Otherwise, I could also mono the ore. No, not for a sheep. Or for wheat, I do. Let's see how many. Oh, it's not that many ore in the game. Don't think I have to play it for this. I don't want to trade my ore, though. But there are three down development cards. I'm a bit worried they they will play the mono. Tough choice. I will buy another development card. Just to get ahead in the army race, it's beneficial for me. And I can get stolen from, it's also very nice. Okay. So a lot of ore on the board. But I don't think anyone can build a city, which is very good for me. So now, next turn, I will definitely mono the ore if possible. And if they don't trade away their ore. So she holds. So she has four ore in, ha in hand at least. Oh, and I get the five. That's really good for me. Then I can build to the second city. No, I won't give you the free city. Do you hold your cards? The question. Mm. Oh, you do have the city. Okay. Oh, red has a lot of cards. But if I can take away the ore, it's huge. But the sheep uh, of the wood part is very useful for her. And you steal my ore? Okay. Oh, what do I do? Let me roll. Okay. Yeah, I think I have to mono the ore here. That's a great roll for me. If I get an ore for two sheep, I will do it. No, I'm then in that case. Yeah, let's buy that city now. I 
I think it was the good mono. She's asking for ore. She could definitely build a city if I didn't mono the ore. Definitely you want to mono the ore or wheat. Or in special cases, if you have the wood port for example, like red has, then you can also mono the wood if there's a lot of wood on the board. So my next goal is to build a settlement, preferably on the 910 or on the 8 sheep. And now I have the production rolling, so I can 3 for 1 a lot of cards. It will be helpful to get first uh, a road building or a year of plenty. Even another mono, of course, would be very nice, but might not be in the game. So they all are buying death cards, which is not that great for me. We do get an ore, too. So this is very painful for me, but okay. So who's the biggest target now? Who is in the lead? Oh, okay. Well, I definitely have to go after green now. Because I... I need to get the large army back. So I put it on six wheat and steal from green. We do get a sheep, which is really nice. We do all 10, it's also very nice. But the other players will get it as well, so that's not that great for me. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, okay, we do get the year of plenty. Could be really helpful. So the five wheat will be blocked, most likely. It's not that great for me. My advantage over green is not, uh, well, I think we have the same production, more or less. But I have the port, so I can buy death cards way easy. But I only have two good numbers, the 8 and the 5, and they will get blocked very often, so that's not that great. I think actually red is in the lead. She has the best flexibility. Great production. Oh man. Oh, he builds another death card. It's really bad for me. So... So maybe I should... I've played my knight card. Or bu buy another one. Because now I have to play my year of plenty to... Stay ahead. So I'll... Take a sheep. Buy a death card. We get this, oh, not that great in this position. It could be helpful, of course, but not that great. I think we will lose now.
Red uh, is trying to get longest road. She might be uh, on 10 points then, because she might have two victory points. So I think this was a mistake maybe to build a city here. I could rather buy a development card here. Okay, that's a nice mono for me. I don't get any cards anymore. It's not that great. It's not that great at all. Well. You don't have a knight though, so I can maybe get army back. Yeah, I think in in this position uh, the five nine ten is better than the three eight five. Yeah, I think it's too late. For wood and brick I will do it. Oh, nice roll for me. I can get two death cards here. Oh no, and you... That's interesting. Oh, nice. So what do we do here? We Let's first buy one, for sure. So it's a knight. So I could... Buy another knight. Or I could put sediment here. I think that's the correct play. So here and here, and just build on the ninth end. So hopefully he doesn't have a knight green, and I can steal the army back. And then I'm on eight points. And I only have to have one city and one settlement. I have 10 points, so it's doable. It might be too slow though, because I think red is in a very strong position. Oh, and that's so good for me, that 8. So although I had a shitty setup, you can still win with that kind of numbers. Because our cheap is so strong. But it might be too late. I don't know the win condition of... Uh, oh, oh, that's so good. You are on 8. Green might be on uh, 8 as well. Red might be on 9. Red has a victory point for sure. So I, I will definitely steal from her. Now it's the question, do I put it on 6 wheat or on the 5 wood? Okay, okay. Oh, green is in a good position too. Oh. So, yeah, let's put it on the 6 wheat, I think. Oh, but we do steal army back. So 
So maybe it's better to steal from red. So do we put it on the six wheat? Because I don't want green to get that many death cards. So I definitely steal from red. We do get a sheep. And we roll another one. And that's definitely one victory point again. So what do we do? I think in this case we buy the settlement. Or do we city up? Yeah, let's uh, do a settle. So the goal is clear, we have to build a city now. Oh, this is beautiful. But where's the mono? No mono? Okay, purple. Please purple, don't go. No, it's over. Oh, it's not over. Yeah, it's over, it's over. Okay. Well, at least we are second. And all Grandmasters. Uh, so, 40, 39, that's really big. I well, hope you enjoyed and hopefully see you next time.